everybody, I'm Square Eye Jack, and just because I'm going to review an entire series doesn't mean I'm going to do all of the videos in a row. I figure now would be a good time to take a look at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, a game that made everyone with a copy of Tony Hawk's skateboarding wonder, why the fuck is it now called Pro Skater? Thups 2 was released throughout 2000 and 2001, on just about every fucking system out at the time. Dreamcast, Xbox, PC, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, and the system I'm playing it on, the PlayStation. Holy shit, what a kick-ass intro! Out, Gorilla Radio! I wonder if Rage Against the Machine is still raging against the machine. I wonder because I'll probably get sued for using this song. The PlayStation version of this game was developed by Neversoft because if you're gonna ride a skateboard, you need to take an arrow to the fucking eyeball! This game is essentially the first game just reskinned to include more stuff, new stuff, and the same graphical quality, controls, and core mechanics of Thups 1. Even the recovery time after falling off your board is the same. But what's this? Create a skater? Create a park? Options? Let's check it out! The first thing that catches my eye is a demo for Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Now I don't know as much about BMXing as I know about shitting while doing a handstand. And while that is what this looks like, I have no idea what the fuck this is. EXQUISITE! Okay, enough fucking around. Let's create a skater. At the time, this was a big holy shit. Creating your own playable character? AWESOME! I have named him Squares, and he is from the middle of bum fucking nowhere, and he will be mine forever. This game has a whole heap of new levels to explore, some of which were switched or not included over all of the different versions of this game. The PS1 version has The Hangar, School 2, Mercedes France, New York City, Venice Beach, Skate Street, Philadelphia, and The Bull Ring. Each of these levels each have hidden areas, which is pretty fucking amazing. Toasty. I've only been playing this game for the past few years, and I didn't know that half of these existed. In Mercedes, you have to knock over this tiny plank of wood, and then skadoosh, hidden area. Half of Philly is a secret area, and oh shit, don't predict an event in a future Tony Hawk's game. The hangar has a helicopter that flies away to open a secret area, as well as another hidden room. New York features the famous Brooklyn Banks, and School 2 features this hidden area accessed via Godly, Godly Powers. Powers. And just a little secret, if you grind this rail, you'll open the gymnasium. Pretty fucking sweet. But fuck those levels, man. Let's create our own epic, spectacular levels with hidden secrets all over the place. Great! Yeah, you really have to suspend your disbelief to realise that yes, this was quite revolutionary. Okay, now that we've done all that, we can start on the main career mode, which is exactly the same idea as the first game. Two levels, competition, two levels, competition, one level and a final competition. Brilliance. Although, rather than using tapes as progression, money is now required. You earn money by beating challenges, although it can also be found scattered throughout the levels. Money is then used to purchase new moves and skill points for your skater. This is such a huge improvement over the first game. I'll tell you what though, there really isn't a whole lot more for me to say without repeating myself from the Thups review. In the first game, by completing career mode 100%, the player would unlock Officer Dick. Well, Big Dick Fucker is back along with Private Carrera and fucking Spider-Man. Holy shitballs. That is so fucking cool. This was most likely added as an easter egg due to the fact that Neversoft and Activision were releasing Spider-Man, also known as Spider-Man 2000, the same year. The best thing about Spidey is that he uses his webs to do tricks. Although, the way you unlock stuff in this game is mental. By completing all of the goals and finding all of the money, you unlock a cheat such as moon gravity, perfect balance, that sort of thing. The first time you do this, you also get Officer Dick. 
By 100%ing the game with a created skater, you also get Spider-Man. By beating it with Tony, you unlock an 80s version of Tony Hawk. There are also two levels to unlock. Chopper Drop, which is just a half pipe, is unlocked by getting a gold medal in each competition with every skater. Not only that, but the final level, Skater Heaven, which features various famous skate locations such as Tony Hawk's Backyard, you are required to 100% the career mode with every skater. Are you fucking kidding me? That's insane! While definitely doable, I say fuck that and just use cheat codes. Just don't save though, because that's cheating. But what about the skimpy Private Carrera? She's unlocked by finding all of the gaps in each level. Definitely more doable. You don't need her for unlocking all of the other stuff though. Well, after you've done all that, what's left? Multiplayer mode, if you happen to not be a lonely fuck like me, there are two new multiplayer modes in this game. Tag, which is self-explanatory, and Free Skate, which is even more self-explanatory. Other than that, there really isn't a whole lot left to do. Unless you use the jetpack cheat. Jetpack mode. Whee! This allows you to explore the levels like an epic hacker and see stuff that you're not supposed to see. Awesome. This game is great fun. It really is just the same game as before, but with some good improvements and heaps of new stuff. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 gets 7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. I'm Square Eyed Jack, and have a great fucking day. Thanks for watching.